<laughs> it happened in the late 90s. There's a very shy child. His name is Joseph, who lives in an urban slum area with his parents. He has a brother with a special case on mental development. So the parents decided to send his brother to their province under the custody of one of their aunties. Both of his parents have no work that time. Cheyenne. His mother is an elementary graduate and his father a high school graduate. After several notices from the owner of the land where they live, one morning the community was advised to vacate the area for the demolition. During that time, there's a generous priest who accommodated them in the church and helped them find a place where they can build their own houses. They never realized They never realize that is because of the mercy of God. Sorry. At a very young age, Joseph didn't know how they survive every day. What he knows is always hungry. One <laughs> afternoon, he saw his mother stirring something in the casserole. He asked his mother, Ma, ano pong pagkain natin? His mother smiled. Nagluto ka ng sabaw na? And Joseph, and Joseph replied, Pero bakit pong sibuyas at paminta lang ang nakalagay? Masarap yan na. Sabi ng nanay. When they were sipping the soup for lunch, that's the only food they have. That's right. A neighbor came with a plate of pancit, minudo, and fruto. Joseph was really happy that this time they will be eating delicious food again. They never realized that it is because of mercy of the Lord. Until the time that his parents got a job, his mother, as a street sweeper, and his father as a barangay tanod that made their income from zero to 1,700 per month. They never realized the time that it's because of the mercy of God. In school, Joseph is already blessed if he has five pesos as his baon. But most of the time, he's just bringing water for snacks. And take note, he has no breakfast every day. Then one time, the student council or the student government entered the room and they distributed a survey form. After answering, he was surprised that they need to pay one peso. That time, he has nothing in the pocket. He didn't know what to do. He, were, he was perspiring, worried until the officer asked him, for one peso. Then suddenly, one of his classmates gave him a peso. Nakahinga siya ng maluwag. But he never realized the time that it's the mercy of God. The priest who helped the community to find a place for them for a BEC and their compound, Mumunting Kristiyanong Kapit Bahayan or MKK Pinagpalas, they found the calling. That's the time that Joseph and his parents were involved in the church until they joined the Catholic Charismatic Group. They became active in the parish and Joseph in the youth ministry in Kiro. And that this time, they felt the love, they realized and felt the love and mercy of God. His father was accepted as traffic enforcer, so they had additional income. His parents stopped their vices of drinking alcohol and smoking. His brother joined them and finally their family is already complete. Joseph, you know, um, when entering the college, they cannot afford because of the entrance fee. So they only they can the only one from Philippine Normal University because it's only 100 pesos that time. He passed. They felt the love and mercy of God. 
one Christmas season, Joseph attended the Christmas activity in Piro. And in the outreach program, his family was chosen as one of the recipients. It was a very memorable Christmas Eve for the family because they have food to eat. In the previous Christmas Eve, they were just sleeping. That time they really felt the love and mercy of God. Until 2014, his mother was diagnosed with stage 2 B cervical cancer. It was a traumatic event in the family. Joseph and his father did their best to look for money for the chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and bracket therapy. A 40,000 per session. And this mother needs six, six sessions in one cycle. A total of 240,000 pesos. Joseph spent his breaks and sometimes he's not attending classes to go to the Senate, to the House of Representatives, politicians' office, church offices, relatives to gather enough money to Kiro mates. The Kiro mates were always there to back him up. In 2006, while they were struggling, Joseph's father unexpectedly died because of diabetes and heart failure. Joseph doesn't know what to do, he's lost. But the battle continues, he needs to persevere for her mother, for his mother. One of the things that made him strong, it's because of the love of Hero. His hero mates and leaders who treated him as a family member, he felt the love and mercy of God. During that time in 2006, he has only one absent in Hero. It was during when his father died. In the school, there was a time that he had, he had only 27 pesos, but one way going to the university is already 25 pesos, and he has two pesos in his pocket. And he's willing, and he's willing to walk from Manila back to Las Piñas. For the thesis, he's really blessed because his group mates work for, for the thesis. It's a group thesis. So he graduated in 2007 alone without, without his parents because his mother was struggling that time at the Philippine General Hospital. I cannot take it anymore. I'm that person. It's because of the love of Kiro, love of Christ, that's why I'm here in front of you. Why did I extend serving here? Because I love Kiro and I love serving. It's because of the love of Kiro, that's and why I survive. That, that year, that year of my graduation, I was alone. Standing in the university, and after some months, my mother died. So she just waited for for my graduation, no? and this and the only uh, thing that she reminded me: take care of your brother. I continued serving in Quiro Las Piñas. No? I was promoted as a leader, then serve as the group leader also. Of course, I'm probably some of you know this uh, story already. But for those who don't know, no, this is something that we should care for our members. We don't know their present status. We should not select who are we serving? We should serve all because we don't know what are, the situa what are their situations right now and they need us. Let's show them and let, let them feel the love and mercy of God. It was in 2010 when the national came in for the 40th anniversary of Kiro Las Piñas, I was the group leader then. 
and asked me if I could serve if I could serve in the National Council as the Assistant Spiritual Committee Head, Leader Noni was the head then. But after some months, I took over as the, the head. So, for the Spiritual Committee, no, I'm really thankful that uh, the people who helped me um, form the committee, Leader Grisol, Leader Rasha, Leader Mayan, Leader Benny, Leader Pao. Salamat, no? Um, that time, we were having a problem that no, no one or very few people attending the, the retreats or the recollection in the national level. So our decision in the committee before to go down to the districts and the local group. That's why until now, no, if you request from the spiritual committee, they will go and they will um, conduct the recollections in your respective districts, regions or local groups so that's the time that um, we're going down to the roots so as as um, leader hazel said no um, it was in 2013 when father jerry talked to us uh, moa in moa it's his first time in moa i'm thankful to father jerry <laughs> because um he came away from uh, Bayumbo, no? Thank you, Father Jen, for the sacrifice. <laughs> but it took thank us... Thank you for the meal. Yes, Father, for the meal. And thank you for Hazel, no, my partner. And actually, it took us two months to decide, actually. That's why there's an OICB forum, uh, the national leader, before we... Because, of course, Father, we're thinking of our capacity if we can do it. But Father is very... <laughs> diba, mahulet, no? He keeps on texting me. <laughs> no? that, uh, yes. Which helped me reflect, no? Which helped me decide on, on this. So after that, um, so installation came. I'm very grateful. It's my birthday, August 18, 2013, when we were installed. Thank you for all the um, groups present. Leader Ben, salamat po sa pagpunta pa si Las Piñas, May Bunga, Sino ko yun na to? Tanza, Cavite, yes, Manila and Cavite group, salamat po. And now, our challenges to is it's for us to um, this is not, Hero is not just about technicalities. It's not about the visual signals. It's not about the the badges, it's not about the color of your court, it's not about the uniform, etc. It's not the way we uh, we do the attention and parade dress. It's about serving God. It's about the personal encounter with Jesus Christ. It's about the new evangelization, bringing the joy of the gospel to the people. No, That's really the challenge for all of us. And if we don't know those things, we have the resources. Our dear leaders, that's why I'm pushing for the Committee on Ideas. For the starting leaders, no? To be provided this kind of activities. But for the old leaders already, who serving for one year, two years already, let's try to read this very important encyclical social doctrines of the Church. So that all our activities are congruent, aligned, or aligned with uh, with these teachings. No? That's the challenge for the catechism and the faith formation. Sabi natin, kulang tayo doon, no? Pero pag sumikapan natin, tulong-tulong tayo. No? Yung, yung mga susunod dating mga leaders, supportahan natin. Salamat sa lahat ng suporta. We really appreciated it, no? Every time na pupunta kami sa mga local groups, sa district visitations, etc., na talagang na-accommodate kami. Maraming salamat din po sa pagkakataon na pinagkatiwalaan nyo kami na pakinggan yung mga concerns po ninyo, issue po ninyo. But this time, I am asking also everyone to set aside our personal issues and conflicts. No, Let's work together, let's serve together. Masayang maglingkod para kay Kristo. Kaya nga sabi, dun sa... Kaya nga sabi natin, no, um, ang national guide lang yan, pero syempre ang pagkilos, 
ay nasa mga local groups. Kung hindi tayo, kung hindi tayo kikilos, sino kikilos? Huwag natin hintayin na dahil hindi nga natin talaga kaya i national, sabi nga natin kulang tayo sa manpower. Let's have the extra push no, sa ating mga local groups. Sa mga local groups sa inyo, nagtitiwala kami na kayang-kaya nating mag-continue. Na kaya-kaya nating buhayin at ipagpatuloy yung paglilingkod. So, um, it's really a challenge for all of us. At syempre, no, I'm pray, we are praying for the next national leaders na um, mapanghawakan, no? mayakap yung hero values, the values also of the church. Okay, lagi natin kakalimutan, hindi tayo nahihiwalay sa simbahan. We are one with the church. Gusto ko na ikot, sabi ni Father Jerry, there is greatness in our smallness. Huwag tayong pangihinaan ng loob. We should not lose hope. We should continue. Kahit ikaw lang mag-isa na nagsiserve, let's continue. No? Kasi yun yung spirito ng pagilingkod. Kahit mag-isa ka lang, still you have the members. Kahit isa, dalawa, tatlo, okay lang continue tayo. Dadami rin tayo. Be positive leaders. No? Panghawakan natin. Dire-derecho tayo. Ang dami na natin nagsimula noong mga nakaraang taon, no? yung mga times, bumangon tayo. Tinulungan natin yung bawat isa. Continue lang tayo. Let's empower everyone. Let's empower everybody. So, yun. Maraming salamat sa tiwala sa akin. Al alam ko, sabi nga ni Leader Hazel, marami kaming lapses. <coughs> Totoo yan, no? Hindi <coughs> talaga natin may yakap lahat ng mga concerns natin kasi ang dami talaga. Buti nga hindi ako namayat. <laughs> Eh, parang hiyang ko naman yung problema. <laughs> Sabi ko, yung pangarap kong abs, wala pa din. Okay. <laughs> so, yun. To end my speech, the, my long speech, uh, let, uh, let me sing a song. Huh? Wala kanta ako, di ba? Maray ko lang. We hardly share the glance, the green and know each other. And now the time is up, the band is packing up, we'll find another chance to meet again together and feel each other's love. I feel like breaking up, it's a sign that almost always makes me cry. Before we say goodbye, I want to let you know I love you. Thank you for playing my music. Thank you for singing my song. Thank you for sharing a moment. Cause with you I feel I really belong. Thank you for keeping me company. Thank you for being my man. And if I want you to cross our when I love to sing this song again. I pray the Lord our God. Reach the bless and keep you together. Let us call and thank you most of all. And somehow I'm feeling sad. You know I'm gonna miss you. And sure I will recall our friendship most of all. But there's one, but there's one thing before the day is gone, before the night is gone. Before the curtain closed, just let me thank you for playing my music. Thank you for singing my song. Thank you for sharing a moment. Cause with you I feel I really belong. Thank you for giving me company. Thank you for being my friend. And if I can't somewhere, somewhere, I love to sing this song. Again, thank you. 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 Thank